Welcome back, everybody, to another Digital Gate Studios production. Jeff is back with more green. I know. this. It's crazy <laughs> how much was in this EX set, but it just feels like all I've built is green. Oh, right? So I many good if, level sixes in green. Yeah, there's just so many ways to go, so many different things to do. Let's talk about almost like a whole complete deck that they gave us in this set. I think this is a fan favorite, too. I know it's one of my favorite, yep. the Leo Mons. Leo. So for those of you who have been following the channel for a while, you know I've had a Leo Mon tribal deck. That one was mostly blue-based, mm -hmm. where the Chimera, and then you'd Imperial and spit out two Leos. and Play just, the Jerry's. And you play yeah. Jerry's and stuff. Yeah. This is not that. Okay. This is going to be the conventional heavy Leo type deck that you would expect from an EX set, from this EX set. Okay. Don't worry. That update for the other Leomon Tribals in the works. I know you got stuff cooking for that. Yep. Yeah. I think Basil's excited about that version too. I think he's working on something as well. So we are going to have a version for that. This is just a normal Leo stack from EX. Let's dive into the deck. Okay. Okay. What do I love about this set? I love the fact that they just gave us so much Leomon specific support. And I think it's important that we talk about the eggs yeah, they gave us two green eggs in the set. Yeah, they gave us two green eggs. This was the green set. This man. was a they green. Want it's you to been play a while since they've yeah. given us like a lot. So I'm playing BT one Fremont as my fifth egg. Whoa! While what? your opponent has two or more suspended Digimon to play, this Digimon gains plus two K. Interesting. Two K on an egg is good. Two K on an egg is not bad for yeah. sure. However, this EX five one when attacking once per turn, if this Digimon has Leomon in its name, draw one. Yeah. Now you can make the argument since it's not like I'm playing a lot of level threes to only play four of the Freemon, and I don't disagree. I'm about eighty percent of the way there of taking this out completely. But I just wanted to show people that you do have an option if you go real Mimi heavy mm -hmm. and you do play more level threes because you like just what Mimi does, how it accelerates, it can be really aggressive. That you can play a fifth egg and not completely burn yourself out of right. Freemons. Why is Fremont important? Because we're playing eight level threes that specifically Digivolve for zero on top of a Fremon. There is yellow Fremons too, but we're just going to stick with green for now. I like it. We're playing four of the newest Elecmon. I love this card. On play, reveal the top five cards, add one card of Leo, put the rest at the bottom. That's sick. And it's Inheritables amazing too. Remember when Searchers didn't have Inheritables? Yeah. On deletion, D Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Really sticking to that Leo Mon. You get benefits when your bodies delete. Yeah. But it's not purple. It's not yeah. mad Leo. That does come out in the next set, I think. BT15 or something like that. So stay tuned to the channel for updates. There's on that. always more Leo stuff. Always. Out. Love it. More Leo. This is also a really good searcher, too. This one's unique. On player view, search your security stack. You may add one card with Leo Mon in its name. If you added a card, recovery one, then shuffle your security stack. So both of these are zero cost Evos on Fremon. Mm -hmm. And they are both three cost hard plays. Not bad at all. Both have good on deletions. This one, Elec, I really like the green black on deletion stuff yeah. more. This one is on deletion. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2K. So you can really stack that especially when you're kind of fortituding with that loader Leo yeah. doing the minus three K minus five K minus seven K, you know, then it comes back, does another minus three K it can sneak. This yeah. deck just sneaks on. The thing I like about that nowhere. is, is uh, you're keeping it tribal with Leo Mon stuff, but Bandai obviously recognize that green players have been a little neglected. So what, yeah. we're, what are we going to do? We're going to give them uh, something that black does. D Digivolve. We're going to give them something that yellow does. Yeah. Search security, minus DP. So it's like you're able to inherit other colors' best qualities in this yeah. deck and still stick to pretty and, green. And they kept it a little free open, too. Yeah. Right? Like if you wanted to play the EX1 yellow Leo with this Lyolamon and the yellow Freemon, right? You could build yeah. some. It's not going to be as good as this, right? But they did make it free for, or like really open and creative for Leo Mon players in general. I love it. This is my last level three in the deck. It is just BT9 generic Electron. Oh, I love Vanillas. I do, he's a 4K body. He's huge. That's huge. He's, he yeah. sneaks up on people sometimes, especially if like they're swinging. You know, Bloom Lord's got those wide level th uh, fours that are like 3K. red veggies. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can kind of sneak over them with this. He's a zero cost Evo. The reason why he's in here is because Leomon and Loader Leo both digivolve on Electmon for a reduced play cost. Makes sense. And there is no green. Um, Lyolamon other than this one, whereas yellow does have, have that. them, yeah. Or excuse me, there is a two cost, two drop, or two cost Evo 
5K green it's like the old school Lamont. rookie rush one. Yeah, from yeah. rookie rush, but yeah. you're not going to play that in this, yeah. right? Yeah. I will say that Solomon was really tempting, and I tried it. What I ended up finding was this is enough search. Yeah. I don't necessarily need more search to make it to where my level fours are a little bit more expensive to Evo on a Solomon, right? And I kind of only need 12 level threes because this deck just does a lot of things, gets a lot of pieces really quickly. Leomon. This is this card's awesome, right? Sure. So it also has the great inheritable that Elecmon had on one deletion, D Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Yep. So you can D Digivolve two on two different Digimon, two on one Digimon. You have it all in the stack. It's really unique. But what I really like that they gave this Leomon tribe, and it's true for the Lyo, uh, Lyomon as well. This Digimon, excuse me, when attacking, this Digimon may Digivolve into a Digimon card with Leomon in its name in your hand. Uh, with the cost reduced by one. Oh, nice. So let's say you pay all your memory. You're at zero memory. You you want to just go from Leomon into a body. It reminds me of like when you would tuck the X antibody option. Yeah. And you would digivolve. And the kind of like that freedom that you would have to where you can then trigger the on deletion, or excuse me, on when digivolving effects of your grap Leo, while of you're your swinging. loader Leo, yeah. while you're swinging. But then you don't have the risk because they have fortitude. Yeah. Your level fives all have fortitude. So if you swing with this Leomon, you did evolve into Grap Leo, you hit something mean in security, that body just comes back because it's got fortitude. Yeah. And Unless can, it's Crimson Blaze, obviously. And you right? can start right? on it again. Yeah. Right. Crimson Blaze. But Crimson Blaze isn't necessarily enough DP to take out our level fives. So it's really interesting. I love this deck. I think it rewards you for uh, uh, kind of going early, right? Yeah. This. Because, you know, you're not, you don't have to go all the way up to your six before you can start swinging. You can swing at your level fives. You can swing at your fours. So this uh, Lyamon, it's kind of nice that they made one deck with two separate lines that all do really benefit each other. Yeah. Lyamon, when attacking as well, did you fall into a card of Leomon's name, reduced cost by one. Mm -hmm. On deletion, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2K. So it's really mimicking that Lyolamon. As you can tell, there are patterns with the green, yellow, and the green, black versions. There's a lot of good stuff like that. And uh, then I'm playing two more for a total of 10 level fours. Ooh. It is BT14 Leomon. When attacking, if attacking a Digimon with higher DP than this Digimon, this Digimon may Digivolve into one level six Digimon card with Leo in its name. So it's only a 4K. So it skips the five. It skips the five. You do have to pay six, though. But Ooh. you still you know ignore all the other Digivolution requirements. So it is expensive, but you get to warp. Going from a four to a six. Yep. You could make the argument to play more than this, but I really like the Leo and Laya more. Yeah. I do also like the inheritable of your turn while you're a Leomon. You get plus two K. So I I just think this is a good card. It benefits the tribe. It doesn't get in the way of the deck, but it's obviously the one that's gonna be a two of. I am playing four Grap Leomons. I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. Yeah. And just because Jesse loves it when I do multiple cards at once for nah, the screen fine. editing. Go for it. Loader Leo. I don't think it's a surprise. These are my level fives. Like I said, most of this deck really comes from the EX box. Yeah. You can basically build this deck budget with almost one whole box, right? I think I got these Loader Leo and Grap Leos from you out of a box. Yeah. Right? So there are a couple pieces you need, but they're relatively cheap. Both of these have Fortitude, which really synergize well with the Leomon and the Lyomon having a lot of uh, uh, good opportunities to be able to Digivolve for that reduced cost triggering their own wind digivolving effects and if they die they had come back with fortitude they yeah. trigger the on plays loader leo on play when digivolving one of your opponent's digimon gets minus 3k until the end of turn this one on play when digivolving return a 4k or less to the bottom of the owner's deck i love the inheritables on two it just feels like they gave leo so much yeah they gave great inheritables they you gave got a ton good of stuff, on plays yeah. right this one you gain piercing if you're a leomon while piercing is not the most game-breaking mechanic, it really does speed up that aggression even more yeah. because of the fact you get to do board control and do a security check at the same time. Uh, opponent's turn, while this Digimon has Leomon, it gains blocker. I will say the blocker's the, the inheritable I like more out of the piercing. Yeah. But, you, you know, I, I just the fact that I have so many options, I'm just still kind of blown away with. I think that's kind of the scary part of... Like when people try and build Leomon because there is so much prior support. Yeah. The number one question when building Leomon out of this set is how much old stuff do I put in? And my answer to that is build separate decks. Very little. <laughs> my, my answer is build separate decks just because of the fact that this does something different. 
because it has an insane boss monster like no yeah. other. To me, when I see this type of deck, I think it's just a heavy Leo deck. Yeah. This is the direction you want to go, right? You have Fortitude. So you notice Fortitude, Fortitude, Fortitude. I'm still not playing the Hawkmon out mm -hmm. of the EX set that searches all the Fortitude. That's a different deck. Because I think I have enough search with the Leo stuff where I didn't need that, and I wanted to make sure my Evos were still cheap enough with the Elec. But when Digivolving on Deletion, D Digivolve 1, then return a 6K or lower Digimon to the bottom of the deck, that's insane removal. And then I love this card, right? When attacking, uh, sorry, end of attack, once per turn, return one of your opponent's 4K or less Digimon to the bottom of the deck. But if it didn't do that, you just unsuspend him and swing again. Yeah. He's huge. He is huge. And you can really take advantage with this deck with a fun little option card that I think most people know about, but maybe some a uh, uh, little bit more casual players haven't thought about it. Yeah. Um, it's, and then this, to me, is just kind of a secondary spot. I will say this is, to I, my opinion... I like that card a lot. I like the Bancho Leomon. I've seen a lot of people go, well, Bancho Leomon doesn't necessarily do a lot. You could swap that for Marukimon. There's another Fortitude. Kind of helps give some bodies rush. You could go that route. To me, I love the Leo tribe. I love that it's searchable. I like the, the fact that you can hard play him, yeah. right? When this card would be played from your hand, if there are six or lower total cards in both players' security stacks... That's the yellow side. ...deuce the play cost by five. So yeah. it reminds me of that uh, that tamer we got in the Royal Knights or whatever, uh, uh, or uh, maybe it was BT12. I can't remember the set, but where they had the Bancho Leo support, where they had yeah. that, you know? So you could play that in that as well. But I like him, too, is you know, on play when Digivolving suspended opponent's Digimon. Doesn't seem great. But he's really hard to deal with on the board. Yeah. If you just have him on the board, all of a sudden your opponent doesn't know what to do because of the fact all turns, once per turn, when a Digimon becomes suspended. Doesn't say by effect. Yeah. Doesn't say if you blocked. Doesn't say if you attacked. If all turns, when any Digimon becomes suspended, you may have one of your opponent's Digimon, not the thing that's suspended, whatever you want, Yeah. get minus 4K DP and security attack minus one. Yeah. You could almost make the argument that this could be a Boncho Leomon deck. And that Boncho Leo is a better boss. Yeah, if you want to go more Leo. control than aggression, for sure. So this really can benefit whatever style you have, right? If you're an aggressive player, if you're a control player. If you like both, like I do, I think this is a fun little ratio. I was at four and three of this. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, I did decide to just cut out one level uh, uh, six kind of stick with the ratios that I like for my decks to so I can have a little bit more room for options and more like flexibility, control, etc. So and then um I will give an honorable mention, like I said, Marukimon. I have seen some people play like Leopard X mm -hmm. in, in Leomon decks. It well, makes another a lot of sense. good EX5 green level another, six. You just have <laughs> you know you have too many choices, right? It was honestly. a banger set for green. And then I just because it's just a green deck Quartzmon yeah. is so good. You're playing a lot of bodies because the Fortitude is hard to get rid of. We do have some Tamers. Quartzmon is just great for really shutting down the opponent. And I think if you're like kind of focusing on the control aspect with, with Boncho Leomon, Quartzmon pairs a lot well. So it's just hard to go, right? You, there's really no place to go wrong. This can be any level 7 you prefer, whether it's Death X to hard play. Mm -hmm. Can Digivolve on Heavy Leo. The Death X is tempting because I do play like a black option that can benefit Death X, right? There's so many ways to go. I think sure. I like the Quartz. It just kind of feels like that you want to lock the board game or lock the game down and win, right? Yeah. Playing two Mimis because it's just a green deck. <laughs> I mean, still what the, else I think say, it's right? still the best setter it's, in green. It's like for the sure. best, one of the best memory setters of all time in general because it's so strong. It does so much, accelerates bodies. It's it's just tough to get away from. Accelerates this. draw by being able to hatch again, all that good stuff. Yeah. This is where I'm torn. Um, I'll just put them both out now. Sure. I'm playing four trainings and two memory boosts. Yeah. It's tough. I mean, you could probably obviously make the argument, why don't you play three and three? I, I just think I like the trainings more. Yeah, you personally like trainings more. I personally like the trainings more, and I just think that I get a lot of use out of the trainings as far when it comes to searching in case I'm looking for an option, a tamer, something that is not able to be grabbed, right, by the Alekmon, the Lyolimon searchers. Yeah. If it's just a piece I'm looking for. And really with this deck, you're evoing, right? The Grap Leo, the Loader Leo are four cost evos. They're three on a Leomon, so you are, you know, digivolving for one in this deck. But you, it's still expensive. For example, Heavy Leo is a four-cost Evo on a uh, uh, Leomon. 
So if you have me meow and you're only at three, you pass turn by Digivolve. Yeah. So I like the idea of being able to keep my turn when I have that Leomon play happen. Right, maybe that's an argument for more Boncho Leomons. The fact that it's a three cost Evo, right? So, I'd love to know what your guys' opinion are, um, and let us know in the comments what you think of the ratios of agility training is green memory boost. Uh, maybe I end up sw switching, going to four green memory boost instead of the training, but it's just hard when this is a two cost. It's all open. You can for choke your opponent a lot more. I don't know. I just I'm a big fan of the trainings. This is where I start having some fun with the deck. Hmm, flashy. I was wondering if you were going to play punch. that. Yeah. I had this at three for a while, and yeah. honestly, I would love to go back to three. <laughs> Maybe I cut out Mimi's, go to three boosts, and have three boss punches. It's tough, though, because really, you probably don't need it as a three of. Yeah. It's it's a good card, though. It's really man. good on it's, security, too. So you're telling me I finally get, like, a Hades Force for mm -hmm. Leomon stuff? That's insane to me. It's really good. While you have a Digimon with Leo or Boncho in its name, um, you may ignore this color requirement. In this case, right, it may be tough for me to have that yellow if I have heavy Leo, mm -hmm. right? And that's my only stack on board. I don't have the dual color tamer. But suspend one of your opponent's Digimon. So first suspend a Digimon. And one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12K. So it does two things. You don't have to give the minus 12K to the suspended body. Yeah, you split it up. You can split it up. Yeah. And then one of your Digimon with Leomon or Boncho in its name may attack. So... Pay, like I said, pay eight memory, swing with the heavy Leo. It's it's ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much they're allowing this deck to do. Um, the security effect's pretty good, too. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, and one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 12k for the turn. Same thing, except the Leomon can't attack when it comes out of security. I think that makes sense. It's fair enough, right? It's your opponent's turn. Makes it's sense. It's a great yeah. card, man. The, it's, it's a good removal card. It's nice when you just really want to... You kind of have the heavy Leo set up or whatever, and I just want to control the board. You have piercing, you suspend body, minus 12k in another body, or maybe it's like a, a huge body that Heavy Leo's not quite strong enough to get over. Yeah. Boom, swing into it's that. It's kind of like a, com a compilation of, uh, or combination of Lonk and uh, Hades Force. Yeah, yeah it's, for sure. it's a great card. And really I, cool. I definitely could see why you'd play four <laughs> or three of it if you wanted to. Um, it's, it's great in security, but I just wanted to play another punch that I don't get to play enough of. Yep. And I'm not saying that this card is a good card in this deck. It's not searchable. You can whiff on it. It's easy to not have the memory when you finally have Heavy Leo set up to play this card, right? Yeah, but that's so strong, especially so since strong. he unsuspends. I'm know? just going to move this to the side so you can see a number on Heavy Leo. He's a 13K body. Yep. That's huge for Final Zubagon Punch. Final Zubagon Punch. It is a two-cost option, so another reason why you might want to play more memory boosts, that we can crack the memory boost, have the memory to play a Zubagon Punch, whatever. Right? It's a finisher. Yeah. It's like a finisher. One of your opponent's Digimon gets plus 3,000, so that would put Heavy Leo at 16,000. Yep. You can give that plus 3,000 to anybody, assuming you have black on board, to tr have that color requirement for this card. But you want to be at 16, because then if that Digimon has 16,000 or more, he gains blocker, reboot, and security attack plus one. Yep. Heavy Leo, we've already talked about he on suspense, mm -hmm. if you didn't bottom deck anything. So you could swing two times with two checks and then have a reboot blocker. And he's, for example, he's going to stay with that plus 3,000, so he's going to be a 16K blocker. I understand why you might not want to play this card because, like I said, it's not searchable. You can't grab it off the training. It can, it's really only used on Heavy Leo, right? Mm. You could totally cut that out for maybe Memory Boost, for another Flashy Botch Punch, for another Mimi, for another Digimon if your ratios aren't good enough. But it's so good. Another, it does so much. You could also, I mean, promote an Electmon and then use it on a Quartzmon and then swing two checks, trash security, and then reboot. I mean, what's scarier than a Quartzmon with reboot? A blocker, you know? too, right? Yeah, reboot and, and this, blocker. This yeah. card would pair well if you like Death X. Yep. Right? If you cut down a little bit of this to play a one of Death X, I've, there's a buddy at our locals that does that, right? Yep. But final card in the deck, it's a green restricted card, hidden potential discovered. At first, I was against this card, not because I don't know how good hidden potential discovered is in this deck. Right, but my thought process is, well, I'm playing a lot of trainings. I have Mimi, but what I found was that four cost Evo, that heavy Leo is still so expensive. Yeah. That you kind of do want to be able to have an HPD. So that way you can hard play a Lekmon, Leolimon, whatever. HPD, Digivolve into Heavy Leo for free, and then you can really get your turn going. So I just think in this deck, it this is this is where I like it. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. I just think there's so much that can be done with this deck. And like I said, if you're not a fan of this style, there's so many Leo decks that you can yeah. play. 
Love to hear what you guys think in the comments. And always stay tuned. EX5's here. Tons of deck profiles. BT15's right around the corner. We got even more coming your way. All kinds of stuff. I love this year, man. It's a good year. Good year. That's a good start. Good you know? start. Good start to the year, guys. Thank you All guys right. so much. We'll see you in the next one. We got, we got it.